in today's episode of Homestead How. Join us for a week inside our small town movie theater we recently purchased. It is the craziest, busiest week we've ever had. It's a lot of fun. We joke around. We have some good family time. And see what it's like running a small town theater and have some laughs with us. Let's get started. <laughs> It's Wednesday, and the girls are home early from school, and Katie and Alyssa are helping me. Hydroponic little gardens we've been using for a while. We grow seeds in here. Katie's working on some there. And then we put them in this big arrow spring over here. We have some good growth, and then we have some dead stuff back there that we're taking off. But look at this, we got some peppers. This is a big surprise. I haven't opened this thing up in a long time. Look at that pepper. There's one there. Oh, there's a couple. Oh, there's a whole bunch. Two there. One, two, three, four. This thing's pretty cool if you have never seen one of these before. That whole bottom we fill up with water. And then I have it on a smart timer. And every hour for about 45 seconds it pumps water up that tube and it sprinkles all the way down, waters those. You can get these on Amazon. We'll leave a link in the description. You just fill them up with water. This is the water gauge. I just filled this one up. You put these little sponges in it, like this. And then you put your seeds in it. And it just, it does, that's it. That's all you do. You push power on the top. There's a light right here. It lights them up. It, the pump circulates the uh, water throughout. And then after a couple weeks, you have some plants. Katie's gonna do these flowers. We have never done flowers. We've only done stuff to eat. We're gonna try some flowers now. So I've been collecting history on the movie theater. I wrote a history book and we've been selling it to support the theater. That's been going great. And huge thanks to Jeff Saviam. He came by with a huge folder of history I've never seen before. And there are some amazing things in here. So I'm scanning all of these to the cloud. And one of the craziest things that I found in here was a really, really old deed. And I actually looked up the legal description in this deed. It's so hard to read as you can see here on the screen. And this dates back to 1859 that's before Lincoln was president 1859 really crazy I'm gonna be adding this to a future version of the book uh, so more to come on that what are you doing Jen Holly hanging across the door neighbors singing Jens, we got a good stockpile of candy finally. We've been testing different things and seeing what's working. On, on, on. So Jen and I just got to the theater. It's Friday. It's 10.30 in the morning and we have a school group coming, which we're excited for. Later at 7 we have our normal showing tonight. Monday we have a school group, Tuesday we have two showings for a school group. In the last few videos I've talked about how well the movie theater has been doing. It's been busier than we expected, which is great. We're very appreciative. I'm not saying all that to brag and say, oh look, the movie theater is making a whole bunch of money. In fact, we're not taking a penny from the theater. We're on week nine now and we haven't taken a penny to pay ourselves for the movie theater. Every penny is going into the account for the theater so that we can keep the prices Family friendly at $5 a ticket, which is one of the lowest ticket prices in the country. The average ticket price in the country is $9.60. Ours are just $5 plus tax, plus our concessions are really reasonable. Where else can you get a $2 popcorn? We want to keep family friendly films for generations to come. We're not being greedy. We're not trying to make a bunch of money off the movie theater. This is more of a passion project. We want the movie theater to be around for a long time. And we're going to need a new air conditioner. We're going to need roofing work. There's some leaks. There's a lot to maintain. This building is from 1859. This building is ancient, so it needs a lot of maintenance. So all of that money goes back into there. So when I'm saying that, I'm just saying it because I'm so excited that the movie theater is doing well because it's sustainable and we can keep that dream alive for the movie theater, keeping it family friendly, fair, not having to raise the prices up a bunch. Um, so hopefully we'll continue to be that busy. We're very thankful for it. I predict every Friday we're only going to have one customer and I've been wrong every time so we'll see how it goes this weekend but we're very excited to have a couple school groups out that helps as well. 
Running out of time, as always, gotta get the popcorn going now. So I'm gonna make up a whole bunch of popcorn for these kids that are coming out. First up, lots of switches. That's the warming bed that heats up the bottom. That turns that and puts exhaust on. That's the light and that's the heater. Heater's on. We bought some stuff for outside to make it look a little nicer because Carrie and I were here yesterday putting some Christmas stuff up. Once the popcorn's made and salted, you have to go like this, and you get all the little kernels to drop in that hole. And it mixes the salted pieces up so you get nice even. See those little kernels? Let's go in there. There is an art to making popcorn that you wouldn't believe. It's perfect amount of oil, temperature, different kernels pop differently. If you leave this cover on a little bit too long, they'll over steam and they'll get tough. It's really a lot harder than you would think. I'm trying to standardize all of it so that we use the exact same amount of oil, same amount of kernels, same amount of salt every single time. And that's what we've been working on lately. How's it going, Jen? Cold, 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 cold. So we got rid of the old ones. I'm putting in fake flowers, but you know what? I want them to last all year, so that's what we're doing. We just picked them up from Walmart. Got that from a craft show last year. It was pretty cute. So just trying to make it look a little bit nicer out here. So it's the calm before the storm, right, Jen? Yep. It's 12:17. We should be here at 12:20. They should be here in three minutes, like 70 people for this school group. And Katie's illegally cutting school to help it work. <laughs> Just had the bus pull up. Everything's about to go nuts. Alexa, play oldies. Oldies for kids? Well, what do they play? What are you doing, Carrie? Every time there's a big rush, we just had 70 kids here. He just sits here. I mean, let's flies get in his mouth. I don't think he knows where he is. Do you know where you are? We were thankful to have Katie there. We had a huge rush and, and we slushies. went through a bunch of candy, like 28 slushies, a whole bunch of Mike and Ike's and soda and everything. Um, one funny thing and not making fun of because I used to do this when I was a kid too is how the kids would stand in front of the counter and look forever I would do the same thing and then when they handed you the money they'd kind of just toss it on the table which was really fun but made it take a little bit longer but totally understandable and then she'd have to count it <laughs> you don't have to count it doing Jen we got to fix that door don't we <laughs> yes I'm having issues getting it open that needs to go on the to-do list Ooh, hello so I think that was awesome they we had what 70 kids here and some adults and they cleaned up after themselves really well and they were they very polite in. they kept coming in for more candy and they were very polite kids are great a couple of them they were kind of cute they came in they put their shirt out and they said trick-or-treat so Carrie gave them some treats but shh, don't say that um, we did and then we're like don't tell those other people because we'll have 60 kids out here saying <laughs> trick-or-treat a couple people came back out we're like oh man I thought it would be a disaster out here and it really isn't that bad at all wow it's not bad at all kids are awesome Jen Kids are great. That was a really polite group too. The, the, very nice. the staff asked them to yes. make sure to clean up your areas first and this is way cleaner than we've seen when we just had adults here, frankly. It was, yeah.
So we're just cleaning up after kids day. We're just cleaning up after our first uh, school day and it was a lot of fun, right Jen? It was a lot, it was so much fun. Kids are great. Reminds me of when I was little and got to go to the movie theater. One kid came out and said, this was the best day of my life. Really cool, they all had a blast. They were clapping at the end of the movie. They all love the movie too, which is awesome because normally we watch all of our movies here. I haven't seen Lyle Lyle Crocodile yet. I will watch it this weekend though. But they all love the movie. That's what she said. Holy poo! There went my eyebrow. It's a pepper now. Emma, how is that pepper? I don't mind Does someone eat this one too? We grew these peppers in a hydroponic system. Don't put that in there. I just put a couple little slices in it. It's oh, very no, hot. We grew, too hot. We grew that in our hydroponic system and I just dared Emma and Alyssa to eat one. How was it? I, I don't really taste it anymore. We grew it in that thing over there. <laughs> okay, back up. I'm cooking. So we had a really busy day today with the kids coming and now I predict we're going to have one, one person come today. Oh, stop. It's 5.50 and no one's here yet. The movie okay, starts in an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, no, it starts at 7. I think there's a person in the car outside. <laughs> there you go, there's your one person. I'm gonna see if I can sneak up on the girls downstairs again. I was just down there. Some people say this place is haunted. You know if it is? They're really nice ghosts. I think they live back there, behind. Behind the stage. We're gonna walk down here and see if we can scare them really quick. Nobody's here, Carrie. It's six o'clock. We better just close up. Only one person's coming. We just, we just, we gotta go. One person. We'll be here all day tomorrow. You realize, right? I got all right? trivia up today too. Oh my gosh, she can't even find the light switch. And she came back here. Oh, I'm getting creeped out already. And she said, there's definitely something back here. So if you guys haven't been here, we're doing history tours. This is the original piano from the 1800s. Oh, God. Yeah, I got to get out of here. My, oh. My favorite thing I love to do. You're paint. so good at painting. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. That's gonna look so much nicer. friends with an Amish family nearby and we love the local Amish community, they're awesome, so we're going to give them a little bit of our popcorn. They're, they park out there all the time and I wanted to go say hi. I don't want to bother them. But who doesn't like popcorn? Say, do you know the beach? Chase, they do the onions. Onion. Onion. Ask them that if they know the beaches. Because they're Amish, they know the beaches. Everyone knows the beaches. There are famous Amish people around here. I made a new friend. What do they say? 
I said, we own the movie theater right here. If you're ever in town, I said, I see you all the time. I see you standing out there. If you want some hot water, it's nice and warm. He said, thank you. I said, if you want any for your horse, I'll bring some. And he said he lives like two miles out of town. It was really nice and crazy. Well, why do you think you were doing it? Then did his wife come out and say, who the hell are you talking to? <laughs> I got records in my head spinning out of control. They go round and around and around and again. That's what was going on in my head right now. Records in my head. Woo! That's too free hits though. Wait, it's not focusing, it's not focusing. Thanks everybody for coming out to Lyle Crocodile. We are done for the weekend. We are going to be open tomorrow, which is Monday. It's Monday morning and the fun is just beginning. We have two school groups and we have to make up an incredible amount of popcorn. Let's go. So this is our fourth school program in a week. We had one yesterday, one today, third, and then we had one a couple days ago. It's been awesome, it's been so much fun. The kids were out there just cracking up watching the movie, Elf. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Now we have a request for you. One of the ways we support our small town movie theater so we can keep it with fair prices, hopefully for generations to come, is with this YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with a friend. We do make a little bit of money off of our YouTube channel and every penny goes back into our Montello Theater building. 
keeping our prices fair and hopefully the doors open for a long time to come so please share this on facebook tell a friend comment like we really appreciate it and come out and see a movie we're playing disney's strange world and we're having a teacher appreciation week all teachers for the entire run of disney's strange world get in for free and they get a free medium popcorn and a free medium soda so stop in and see a movie with us all ticket prices are only five dollars